grand old partisan, celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Harrison Otis, born in Southern Ohio, February 10, 1837. He started out as a printer's apprentice. While working for a Louisville newspaper, this young Republican was delegate to the party's 1860 National Convention. Outbreak of Civil War, Otis enlisted in the 23rd Ohio Volunteers. He survived two wounds and rose to the rank of colonel. His regiment fought at Antietam. Peace restored, Otis worked at various positions in Columbus and Washington, D.C. In 1876, he relocated to California and bought the Santa Barbara Press. President Hayes appointed him tax collector in Alaska. In 1882, he began publishing what is now the Los Angeles Times. Under his supervision, the newspaper promoted political conservatism and economic development. Socialists killed 21 of his employees in a terrorist attack. President McKinley made him Brigadier General during the Spanish-American War, serving in the Philippines. His house on Wilshire Boulevard became the Otis Art Institute of the Los Angeles Museum of History, Science, and Art. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.